PepsiCo will send its Tesla semi trucks at a special event called Run on Less Electric Depot. This event starts next week and will last until the end of the month. Tesla Semi will be presented among 21 electric vehicles being tracked as part of NACFE's research on scaling electric trucks at fleet depots. This is quite interesting events, friends. Trucks are significant polluters of the environment. Although their number is significantly smaller than passenger cars, right? They are responsible for a large amount of emissions. That is why it is important the trucking industry strives for decarbonization. More fleets are investing in alternative fuel vehicles, especially battery electric trucks. In an effort to help fleet understand the benefits and challenges of battery electric trucks in greater numbers, the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, that was what was called NACFE, is hosting the Run on Less Electric Depot event. The event will take place from September 11 to 30. It will evaluate the efficiency and also provide a look at a total depot electric energy and fuel for all the trucks per day and what that will mean in total electrical energy if all trucks at the depot are converted into electric vehicles according to the press release. In total, 21 trucks will be presented at run on less electric depot including two Tesla semi trucks and PepsiCo is sending them. Here's a quote from their release friends. As trucks work on decarbonization, trucking works on decarbonization, fleets are investing in more electric vehicles at their depot which brings with it many benefits but also challenges, especially around infrastructure and charging, says Mike Roth, NACFE's executive director. He said, yet leading fleets are tackling those challenges and are giving us access to their operations so we can share what they are learning with the rest of the industry. The run will feature a variety of trucks covering a full range of duty cycles. Here are some examples. At Frito Lay's Queens, New York depot, two Ford e-transit vans will be tracked operating urban delivery. At OK Produce in Fresno, California, a Freightliner e Cascadia and Orange electric vehicle will be tracked in local fruit and vegetable deliveries and terminal tractor application respectively. At Penske's Ontario, California location, a GM Bright Drop, a Navistar EMV, and a Freightliner e Cascadia, a light, medium, and heavy duty truck will be followed. At PepsiCo Sacramento, California depot, these two Tesla trucks will be tracked in heavily loading long haul transportation operations. At Performance Teams Commerce, California location, two electric Volvo VNRs will be tracked conducting short haul routes and others are at Puro Later's Richmond British Columbia Hub, at Schmelder's South El Monte California location, at UPS at Compton California, US Foods in La Mirada California and so on. Prior to the event, the NACFE's team will visit um, actually visited all these 10 depots and interviewed 122 people about their experience with electric trucks. Freight profiles with videos are posted on the Run Less website and will be supplemented by stories from the Run videos that will look at some of the main issues surrounding the electrification of tracking fleeting. This is going to be quite exp interesting to watch and follow. So I'm going to follow this event, friends. You let me know if you are interested and subscribe to this channel. As I hear more about this, I may bring a report here. We will be updating the metrics daily and adding videos on a regular basis, so we encourage people to follow the run to learn from these 10 pioneering fleets, Rhodes said. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this event and Tesla being at this event? This is going to be quite interesting. I'll look forward to your comments, friends, in the comment section below. Look forward for more interesting news from Torque News. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. God bless you. Let's move on to our next story. Tesla is making a big change about its next new vehicle. Tesla changes initial build location 
for its next generation affordable electric car platform. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Another excerpt from biographer Walter Isaacson's book of on Elon Musk shares new details about Tesla's next generation vehicle platform, including plans for a different build location than the automaker previously reported. In other ways, Tesla will build its next new car. We thought it was going to be at Gigafactory. Mexico looks like it's going to be elsewhere, where I'm about to tell you. In the excerpt with Axios published on Friday, Isaacson details Elon Musk's well-documented desire to build Tesla's next-generation electric vehicle platform used for self-driving cars. Although Tesla announced plans earlier this year to build the next-generation electric vehicle at an upcoming new Gigafactory in Mexico, Isaacson says that Elon Musk changed the initial build location of the robotaxi platform to Gigafactory Texas in Austin as recently as May. It looks like Tesla is rushing. That means this is going to be Tesla's new vehicle. It's going to be sooner than we thought because it looks like Tesla is not willing to wait until Gigafactory Mexico is built. It will take at least a year. But it looks like Tesla will start bringing that new robotaxi, new affordable electric vehicle, new electric vehicle platform, smaller, affordable, to Gigafactory Texas, where Tesla already has things up and running. Tesla engineering will need to be on the line to make it successful, and getting everyone to move to Mexico is never going to happen, Elon Musk told Isaacson. While Giga Mexico is still expected to be built, out for the new generation of Tesla electric vehicles, the excerpt from that book details Elon Musk's desire to have the automakers design engineers even closer to the assembly process. Although in Mexico, where Tesla is building Gigafactory in Mexico, is not that far from Gigafactory, Texas. This would allow engineers to provide feedback instantly and rather than relocating these engineers to Giga Mexico. Musk reportedly decided to change the new platform's initial production location to Tesla's headquarters at Gigafactory, Texas. To me, this makes sense. Samuel Garcia Sepulveda, governor of Mexican state Nuevo León, where Giga Mexico would be built, said earlier this year that the automaker would build a production line from the ground up to build Tesla's $25,000 compact car outside of Monterey. A move to debut the initial production of the upcoming electric vehicle at Giga Texas wouldn't necessarily change this detail. Beyond Giga Texas being Tesla's headquarters, it's also where Musk primarily works place is located, and it includes a high-speed assembly line for production that includes updated automation functionality. They have everything at Giga, Faxes, Giga Factory Texas, engineers, instant feedback, the lines are working, testing is there. Bringing all that talent immediately to Mexico will take some time, and probably not everyone is willing to relocate there. According to Isaacs, Isaacs on the another report from Axios, the upcoming robotaxi electric vehicle platform is expected to be inspired by Cybertruck, built on the same architecture as the $25,000 car design. The electric vehicles are expected to be similar, even using the same assembly line. However, one key difference between the two mass market electric vehicles is that the robo taxi may not necessarily include a steering wheel, while the passenger vehicle's version will. Isaacson also shared details from a design review session in February for the electric vehicles, during which Tesla chief designer Franz von Holhausen showed the $25,000 car design and the robotaxi design next to each other. Musk responded with enthusiasm, particularly due to their futuristic Cybertruck-like design. When one of these comes around the corner, People will think they are seeing something from the future, Musk said during the meeting. Still, Isaacson notes that Musk's excitement is far higher for the robotaxi project than for the $25,000 car, especially given how much the Tesla CEO expects to see transportation redefined with the self-driving vehicle platform. According to Von Holhausen, the Tesla team even had to convince Musk to use the same vehicle architecture for both the $25,000 vehicle and the robotaxi design. 
it's really not that exciting a product, must previously said of the mass market electric vehicle. So I don't know. What do you think, friends? Personally, I'm far more excited about the $25,000 drivable car than the robo taxi because I think it's a needed step toward moving more people from gas cars to electric vehicles. I get it that in the long term, robo taxis could be more exciting, but I see burning massive amounts of fossil fuels as a bigger problem than getting rid of human drivers. What do you think? Let me know, find your doubts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com coming up with more Tesla and electric vehicle news. So please subscribe to our channel and bookmark it. God bless you everyone and I'll see you soon in our next uh, report. And also visit us at TalkNews.com for more Tesla news. Have a great day.